I'm Brad Morgan from Morgan Composting. One of the things that we've really focused on is specific crops. We've been very involved in everything from potatoes, corn, soybeans, and now we're really looking at alfalfa. Alfalfa hay is very demanding on soil and it basically takes an awful lot of nutrient to grow the type of volumes of hay that we need to produce in Michigan. So finding some application of fertility in between um, cuttings is almost a necessity to keep up on the production the yields that we need in Michigan. As you look through this field you'll see there's minimal amount of grass but if you're not constantly feeding some potash maintaining the pH what will happen is there'll be an encroachment of grasses coming into your alfalfa at a much faster rate than you really want. People have a tendency to want to put one, two, th even three ton of lime to bring the pH back up to where it we're trying to encourage people not to allow it to go to that point. Let's not deplete the soil, let's constantly manage the soil so we're maximizing production constantly. So we have programs designed to where you're putting a small amount of lime into your blends that gives you the calcium, that it maintains the pH within your soil. Our systems are designed more for a small amount of application, hold consist consistency, be more proactive and it, it actually helps maintain your checkbook a whole lot better as well. We know adding fertility in between uh, cuttings is an added cost, but the truth be known, with the extra cost of equipment, labor, land rent, all of the above, yields are so critical to be able to run that equipment over. So the fact if you're not doing something in between cuttings, you really need to assess where your economics are within your program because you're going to have to constantly be feeding that plant. You can't take four, five, six, seven, up to 12 ton per acre of biomass off from a field consistently without replenishing. So at some point in time, remember, you're stealing and you're taking away from yourself if it's not a steady, constant reinvestment into it. I farmed all my life and if we're not constantly looking at the economics of what we're doing, it won't be there for us in the future.